was in Nina Turner, um, in 12th grade, and a senior at Southwest High School. I live in North Minneapolis, the McKinley neighborhood, but I'm originally from South Minneapolis. I was in North Minneapolis. I didn't know about it until I went on to Instagram and I saw a video of him getting murdered. <laughs> At that time, I was already stressed out of school and everything else, so basically, I was just extremely sad about it because it was just another black man being laid dead on the streets. I would say my community was very angered about it, as you already saw on the television, the news coverage, because there were riots and buildings being burned down. My mom was very mad about it because my grandma grew up in that neighborhood and she had a lot of resources over in that neighborhood that she needed and after that she didn't get the assistance that she needed with her. Why do you care so much about this cause? I care so much because I'm a granddaughter from two Black Panthers from the 60s and the 70s. And I'm also a Black woman who has two Black parents. So I feel as though when I saw that, I envisioned, unfortunately, that possibly happening to my father. My experience with COVID, it was okay. I was super, even though I don't have depression, I was super depressed. Mm. Um, it just was all coming to me at once and I couldn't really handle it mentally. But I just tried talking to my therapist and journaling, expressing my emotions as they were because I knew I couldn't change anything. So I just tried to express how I felt. My name is Amina. Today I'll be interviewing my grandfather who is a former Black Panther. Um, this is important to me because I have a personal connection as a granddaughter of a Black Panther. This inspires me to stand up for my people and to stand up for what I believe in. My name is Benjamin Benjamin. Scotty B. Scott Brown. <laughs> okay. How old are you and when is your birthday? I'm 79 years old. My birthday is the 29th of January, 1944. Why did you join the Black Panther Party? And can you do a little introduction of the Black Panther Party? The Black Panther Party was established all back in 1966, Fred Hampton and Mark Clark uh, uh, up in uh, uh, Oakland. And it was initiated in Chicago in 1966. Uh, Oakland was the starting place of it. And uh, I decided to get involved because uh, I was involved in the same kind of ideas as the painting social action and brutality of police and a disimbursement of black folks. So that is what that is about. Before we can do anything for anybody else in the world, we have to do something for ourselves and we have to lift ourselves up. One of the problems that we have, we rely too much on other people. We don't manifest our knowledge and our comprehension and our understanding. We don't use the intelligence that we were, were born with. We depict like other people and we try to be like them. Once we stop doing that, we might have some semblance of equality and some semblance of balance. But until then, we're going to be right where we are.